Sleep. We can usually get like two straight hours, and then he'll wake up and he'll be all right for another half hour, and then we have to stop. He'll just start crying. Yeah, he just won't. He'll just get really uncomfortable. And then uh, as the drive progresses, like the each time he goes into the seat, he's more and more aware that he's about to spend the next two hours in the seat. Harder and harder to get it back in. Yeah. So it's like it just is a bad math equation that keeps yeah. compiling. Yeah. It's like up now. So we get all the good driving done at the beginning of the day, and that's like, you get less and less uh, yeah. each step of the way. Yeah. Is it as expensive as you thought it would be? Um, the baby? Yeah. No. I mean, every that's like one of the things everybody says is like, it's really, really expensive. Yeah. And I think like, maybe we'll find out later that it's expensive once we start doing more stuff. But yeah. so far, he's seven months old, and it's been hardly anything like I'm breastfeeding him and um you know we buy formula for like trips and stuff mm -hmm. every once in a while um and then I make all of his own baby food so that's like really low cost you yeah. know because if we're yeah, making yeah. if we're eating carrots for dinner I just like puree them and blend do them up do you get like organic everything yeah, yeah I do I'm a little no 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 trust that. me you're right, not right right okay you could be worse so um <laughs> And then we have a diaper service, so because we're using cloth diapers, um, uh, except for like when we travel. Yeah. So cloth diapers, the diaper service is like twenty dollars a week, mm 
That's not bad. No. So that's about it. And then all his clothes and stuff, all of our parents have bought those. Yeah. I mean, that's part of the good thing about him being the first grandchild is that he just has, like, the grandparents are so excited and buying everything. I haven't bought him any clothes or any toys. Jeez. So. Because that's always, like, stopped me. I mean. Really? One of the things. Well, I'm. It's one of the things I mean, that you I, think about. On, on our budget. Yeah. Like there's there's no way. But think like, about I don't all the have... poor people that have babies. There's like a lot of poor people that have babies. I'm serious. That's something that I thought about. No, you're right. Like my parents lived in the trailer. Right. Yeah. His yeah, you know, sir, he's really right. really good at like showing you when he's tired. Like he'll okay. rub his eyes and stuff like that, so you know. Yeah. Um, that means get him to bed soon, though. Oftentimes that means he's like. Over really tired. tired. Yeah. So if, late, if like, he's like doing the like of the back kind of thing, yeah, he's really it's time tired for him to take a bath. Um, and when you put him to bed, like I said, he might cry, and that's okay. Um, he'll usually just put himself to sleep. All right, babe, we gotta then, go. Okay, though. okay. You guys are fine. Call us if you need us. I'm gonna leave my phone on all day. Okay. He's fine. Come on. Okay. Okay. <laughs> all right. Thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back late too. Okay. So, yeah, no problem. Yeah. Have we'll fun. try to be quiet. We got this. We got this. He's like dangling over him. But not the dog. What is this? Just gonna help? It's gonna distract him because he's so angry. Is it okay? Do you is this the thing that you like? What am I doing? Was that easy? Yeah, it was. I mean, he was crying, so I felt bad. I didn't think that um, he wanted to go down immediately, but I know he was tired. Is that, was that the time they told us? That... Well, they just said, like, whenever he's, um, you know, exhibiting signs of sleepiness, you know, like... Was he doing that? Yeah, he was like rubbing his eyes and kind of yawning and stuff, and I mean. So it's the same as the signs as we have. <laughs> just yeah, just smaller versions of of us being tired. <laughs> How long is he gonna be in there? Well, he's napping. So as long as he needs to nap, within reason. I just forgot to get my computer out before I went to nap. <laughs> Is he disrupted by typing? <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I think he's going to be disrupted by typing. You can, you can wait an hour. Oh yeah, hour. yeah, I could wait. Do you have your phone? It's in the house. You can use it.
your They're gonna come back and be like, he never used to be so quiet. <gasps>
seven. Okay. That's yeah. good. And um, you cried? Yeah, but just, just like a minute. Okay. Okay. And um, but other than that, he hasn't woken up. Yeah. And um, did he uh, did you give him his yeah, formula? He, yeah, he drank um he drank all of his formula. Okay. And he had um he didn't Wait, eat did he wake his, up? No, he hasn't woken up. I have to go to the bathroom. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Did she drive? Yeah, I yeah, drove. Okay, okay, good. Yeah. No, you mm. suffered so that we could have fun. Yeah. That's what we need our friends to do That's these days. Did you it's bring really any, important. Did, they, did you bring us any swag? We yeah, yeah any it's in the car, but I'll, I'll bring it in tomorrow before we go. So, we did. No, it really is nice. I really appreciate you guys doing that. It's, like, amazing to be adults for a night and just, like, know that Huckleberry's in good hands. It's, like, so yeah. nice to just, like, go out and have fun. And not think yeah. about it. And not think about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, we don't have to worry about, forget. We don't have to worry about money stuff until tomorrow or whatever. Right. <laughs> Yeah. High rates. Uh, what's going right in Chicago? Uh, twelve dollars an Shana, hour. We pay Shauna twelve dollars an hour. Yeah. Okay. And we pay Amy fifteen. Yeah, we'll go about fifteen or whatever. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's the, it was. I mean, it was the two of us. You know, we're, yeah, fifteen. Each. We're adults, yeah. and so we, you know. Right. Well, I'm glad that it went okay. Yeah. So you had fun. Yeah. Oh, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. It's okay, buddy. I know it's hot in there. All right. Let's okay. get rolling. Bye. Bye. Good to see you. Wonderful to see you. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Thanks, man. Thanks so much for I'll taking care of him. I'll talk to you soon. All right, man. See you next time. Bye, buddy. We'll probably text you from the car. <laughs> Let us know if you forgot anything. Okay. Because babies can't forget that. <laughs>
So you just think he has two clients? No, I think he has like six, but I, I don't know. They just sent you a picture of them going home? Well, they thought I'd like it because I like their baby. Isn't it cute? Hmm? Isn't it cute? Yeah, it's cute. Um, yeah, I'm just in the middle of watching this movie. No. Do you. Are you trying to talk to me? Um, I just. I want to show you a picture. That's cool. Did you have fun? Hey! Did you have fun? Watching him? I've never seen you with anything that small. Yeah, it was good to see them. Um, you know that baby cost no money? They thought that it was going to be a lot more, but they just got on Medicare or Medicaid or something, and they haven't paid for a single thing. Because I always thought you had to be, like, not entirely poor to have a baby, but you can be completely poor, apparently. You could be as poor as me. Do you think there's any relation? I, I'm not. I'm yeah, I think they're. I think they're related. Uh, I don't think that you can call it like a confusion, but I think they're I didn't related. Say confusion. Yeah. I'm. Yeah. I just want. I, I'm. I. I. Obviously, it sounds like. Um, naive and, and ridiculous to say. N not having that. Uh, not ever being a woman and not ever having the, the, uh, whatever it is that, that you, uh, yeah. seem to be feeling. But I, I just was curious if, there, if you feel like there's any connection. Because it seems like, as, an, as a, as a non-woman, it seems like the reaction I, I see women, um, the reaction I see when, when they're watching Q video and, 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 and then when I see them around a baby, it seems to my eyes seems to sound the same. Like, oh, that's so cute, I can't stand it. I know. I know, and I hate, I hate that it's such a, it's, a, it's like a, it's, it is a realistic cliche. But, but I mean, look at our friends, though. And you wouldn't think that like, like John, would be wanting to have a fa be a father, but they've been off birth control for, since January. They've been off birth control since January. Since January. And they just got married. Well, yeah. 
Yeah, that's an, yeah. I yeah. mean, and I mean, so many of our friends are having babies who we just who are artists and who are um, poor, still working like shit jobs and don't have money, but are getting married and having babies. You know. It just never seemed plausible, but the more I see people do it, the more I realize that it's really possible and that it's not utterly ridiculous for me to want to have a baby to access that part of me that wants uh, to stop suppressing it and actually have a baby, you know? Yeah. Are you bringing this up in, in, in the way that you're trying to say that you, you want me to clearly hear that you want a baby and you have uh, is that do you want me to hear that really clearly right now? Yeah. But you don't, it's not like an urgent thing, is it? I mean, it, I mean, how intense are you feeling this? Well, I'd like, I'd, I'd like to get on the track to having a baby. And I don't want to have a baby and not be married. And I I don't if I'm feeling this way now I don't want to be 31 or it's not that that's old, but I don't want it to be years and years before I even start what the process. Is, what's 31? Why do you, I mean, why are you saying 31 right now? Because it's just, it's years away from now. Yeah, it's now. four years from now, so what does that relate to? I don't want to wait, I don't want to wait for it four years. Well, it's not going to be four years, one year from now. Two I years don't want to wait three years. I don't want to wait two years. Do you still see us together in two years, three years, four years? This is this is an impossible conversation. I know. I'm sorry. I'm, I was just trying to tell you that I, that this is something that I want now, that this is just something that is becoming more and more part of... It's just because, I, I mean, I have to wonder about the timing of this. Not I, I don't want it to be dismissive, but it's mm -hmm. just like, but from my perspective, you're saying all this on the heels of being around a baby and like... It's not just being. It's, just it's like not just if being, it's about somebody else's seeing somebody else's baby. I don't see how, how that could be such an emotional thing. Other than like I want to. Um, well, it's something that, I've, that I've been thinking about for years and years. And the more people that we know that are doing it, successfully, or just without a huge financial burden. I mean, I don't think I'm being, I don't think I, I'm being this, like, shrew, this, like, sh female, sh 
just shrewy, you know, I want a baby. I well, wanna, I, like, that's what, I mean, I, not, that's not what it sounds like. We've never even talked about getting married. I don't understand why, how, you, how well, this is the, well, this leap to like being, having a kid around. There's a, a difference, and, but there's a difference between, there's a difference I, between. I feel like you like, haven't let me talk, hon. If, do you see, do you hear how much you're interrupting but me? I don't think that you're getting the point. If I'm talking so much, then you don't understand my point. N I'm trying to I'm trying to react and every time I react you you, you you volumize and, and I can't you can't hear what I'm saying and I'm you take sorry. over. I'm sorry. But that's just what that's what you've you've that's what you always do. I can't I can't talk. I, nobody can talk when they're around you. Cuz you have to What does that mean? I mean, you you interrupt people constantly. And they can't get what they're going to say out. Do you did you hear like haven't you noticed that I that I that I've been doing that a couple of times, like when somebody's trying to say something, I, I tell you not to over, I tell you not to interrupt them. And then I hope that like doing that a couple of times will make you realize that you're interrupting them constantly and make you stop doing that, but you just continue to do it. Does, does, do you not see those signs that I'm giving you? It, I mean, I, I know that I'm bringing this up. I mean, obviously it's not the point, and I sound defensive bringing it up, but I'm just, like, that's, for for example, I can't get what I'm trying to say out because you're interrupting me. Then what do you, what do you want to say? I won't interrupt you. Okay, but now it's just... No, I'm serious. What do you want, what do you want to I say? I can't even remember what I was going to say. And I don't even want to, I don't even want to backtrack because I, I would rather get that point out than to talk about whether or not we could have a baby. Because that seems to come first. And I don't even want that to sound as, as as antagonistic as it sounded, but like I just feel like you haven't got that point, and I know it's it's not the conversation we're having, but now it seems like it. The, well, what, what what are you trying to say, other than that interrupting thing? What are you trying to say? Well, I'm saying we've never talked about marriage. We have a baby around for one weekend. You suddenly say that you want to you're interested in having a baby mentioning nothing about marriage and except for the fact that you want to get married because of the baby that you want to have all of a sudden and i i have i have obviously we've i thought we agreed that we weren't at the stage that we were thinking about marriage that was that was like Four years ago that we had that conversation. Well, I, think I feel like it's it no. I feel long. like it's more implied now than ever that, that we're gonna get married. Yes, I mean that's what. Am I completely wrong? Well, I I was under the understanding that we were not in any sort of rush to get married, and I feel like there are that has been brought up several times in us, and, and you and you said as much. That's, that's not, that's not fair. Well, you certainly have never given me any signs that you want to get married. Or any explicit. Why is it my job? If you want to get married and I don't want to get married, it's your job to tell me you want to get married. Because it's not my job to tell, to, what am, how is it, it's my job to bring it out of you, even though I don't want it. Why don't you want to marry me? That's a, it's, it's, it's not the right way to put it. How could you say that I could, I mean, that's not, that's not what I, that's not what I'm saying. I, I'm not saying I don't want to marry you. That's not what I'm saying. I feel like, I would, the older I get, the more I realize I would like something that symbolizes commitment and I don't feel like we 
have that. I, I feel like just words aren't enough. There's like, there's got to be a gesture. I mean, you go away a lot, and I, I feel like it would, I would sleep a little better yeah. if you had a ring. Yeah. just would have some kind of indication of what exactly it is that we're doing. Mm I don't know if I can do any more than just hear that and understand it and, and know what you mean. I'm tired. I'm turn off the light later. I'm gonna turn it off now. I don't care whenever you go to bed. I'm not saying anything, I'm just. Mm listening and I don't know I just don't know. I know I'm not saying anything okay this is the first time we've talked about it I mean, looking back on it, it's weird because, you know, I never wanted to get engaged, but she was always like, you know, insinuating that she wanted to get engaged and all this and that. And, uh, and eventually I got to this point where 
I decided to do it because it was exciting because I felt like it was it was something it was exciting because I knew it would make her really excited and because I was out of town all the time I think I was like yeah you know I'll, you know I'll do this now and it'll it'll keep her happy while I'm gone yeah. and, you know and uh, you know but you know they say you know you got to do what you want to you know like you got to look out for yourself first you know you got to make yourself happy first you know and it, you know you can't you can't put somebody else ahead of you necessarily I mean and I think I was like trying to do that but I was also in denial the whole time because I was conscious of that thought I was like oh yeah you know you, you gotta you know you can't make her happy if you're not happy but I was just like no no you just kind of push it aside and just kept going forward with the plan and and then ultimately it totally, you know, it totally kind of brought out all the problems or maybe just the fact that I wasn't ready in general, you know. Hey, Andrew? Yeah? Can you come here for a sec? <laughs> which one of these do you like the best? Not one, but which ones? I'm going to send my mom some of these for her birthday. They're a bunch of slides I had, and I don't think she's ever seen them printed. But some of them are duds. Flip through. Wow, these are great. Yeah. Definitely that one. That, you know, Definitely that, that one's one. a great one. Those are. These yeah. are all great. That's good. That's my wow. dad's boat. Isn't that cool? Wow, these are all great. Yeah. Not that one though. It's too that, dark. That's the last. No, no, no. That yeah, one's yeah. great too. No, the, yeah, that's the last one. You like that one? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, it's like. Yeah. More uh, tone. I think those. Did they have these staged? I mean, like, how did they used to do wedding photos? Like, I don't know. I mean, this was just such a shoestring wedding. They had all their friends do everything. Um, she made that dress that day. What did that day? Yeah. She, she, that was like her thing and she always made dresses like the day like her graduation dress like I made it that morning she made well, that dress that I mean uh, you, oh you, that and that that coat that's um that's uh his great great grandfather's coat that's like a this Victorian I think you should send all of them except for Except for the wind weird Except guy. Except for this random person. That, yeah, that was, they met that guy. That was the son of a guy that they met on their honeymoon. 
His name is Downtown. Can you just delete that one and then send the rest? Yeah, I think I will. I just hope Tony doesn't see them. Or if he does, he doesn't care. Those are cool pictures. Mm-hmm. 